In this video, we'll show you how to record a video lesson in Moby Max to send to your students. If you're teaching remotely, video lessons are a great way to mimic teaching in the classroom. They give you the ability to explain a concept to students before assigning work, and they can be a great option if students aren't able to meet regularly in real time because you can always upload a video lesson for students to access at a later time. This video is broken into two parts. In the first part, we'll show you how to download a free tool to record your screen. In the second part, we'll show you how to create lessons in Moby Max's Whiteboard Activities module. The first thing you'll need to create a video lesson is some way to record your computer screen. There are a ton of different screen recording applications out there, but we're going to point you towards a Chrome browser extension called Nimbus because it works on both Mac and Windows, it's easy to use, and it's free. To download this application, you'll need to have Google's Chrome browser installed. Once you're in Chrome, type in Chrome Web Store into the address bar and click on the first link. Here, search for Nimbus and find Nimbus Screenshot and Screen Video Recorder and add that to Chrome. Once you have the extension added, you'll see this icon in the upper right corner of your browser. Whenever you're ready to record your screen, simply click this icon, click Record Video, make sure your mic sound is turned on, and then choose whether you want to record the tab or the entire desktop. And then click Start Record. That's it. Now that we have a way to record our screen, we're going to show you how to quickly create a lesson using Moby's Whiteboard Activities so that you can record a video lesson for your students. To access Whiteboard Activities, click on Interactive Class from your Moby Central home screen, and then click on Whiteboard Activities under Classroom Tools. The Whiteboard Activities module is meant to be used as a whole class module where a teacher can create a lesson to teach in front of a classroom. You can pull problems from Moby's entire curriculum or create your own problems to add to your lesson. This works great for creating video lessons because you can create a lesson and then record your screen to teach that lesson via a video. To begin, let's click Create New Lesson. You can choose to create a new lesson or choose from pre-existing lessons that were created by other teachers. Let's create a new lesson for now. Here we'll choose a subject, a grade level, and a name for our lesson. This just helps to organize your lessons. I'll choose a language lesson, in grade 2, and I'll call it Collective Nouns. If you'd like to share your lesson with other teachers, you can check off this checkbox here. When you're ready to add problems to your lesson, just click Add New Problem. You can choose problems from Moby's curriculum, or you can create your own problems. Let's start by choosing problems from Moby's curriculum. At the top, you'll see all of the different subjects from which you can choose problems. I'm creating a language lesson, so I'll click on the Language tab, and adjust the grade level to grade 2. Here, I can see all of the grade 2 language content that Moby has. Once I find a lesson that works for me, I can expand that lesson to see practice sets. I can click on a practice set and begin adding problems to my lesson. If I need to see a larger version of a problem, I can simply click on the problem. If I need to remove a problem, I can click Remove. Once I've found some problems that work for my lesson, I can click Save. Here I can see all of the problems that I've added to my lesson so far. If I need to reorganize them, I can just drag and drop them, and if I need to remove a problem, I can click the trash can icon. If I want to add more problems, I can click the Add New Problem button again. Let's try creating our own problem this time. We can choose between multiple choice or fill in the blank problems. I'll stick with the multiple choice problem for now. At the top, I can enter some problem text. Then I can enter my answer choices. If I need to add more answer choices, I can just click Add Choice. If I'd like to preview my problem, I can click the Preview button to see what it will look like. And when I'm ready, I can set a correct answer and click Save. Here's the problem that I've created. If I need to edit my problem, I can click the pencil icon. If I want to remove it, I can click the trash can. And if I want to preview it, I can click the thumbnail. Once you're done creating your lesson, click Save. Now that we've created our lesson, we can use it to record a video lesson for students. When you click on your lesson title, Moby will open a separate problem viewer for your lesson. Here, you can view all of the problems in your lesson. You can select answer choices, view answer feedbacks, and click back and forth through your problems as needed while you explain the topic to your students. When you're ready to record your video lesson, click on the Nimbus icon in the upper right, 
choose record video, make sure your record mic sound is turned on, and then choose whether you want to record just the tab or your entire desktop and click start record. Once you've gone through your entire lesson, explaining it to students, click the Nimbus icon again and click stop recording. A separate page will open up that will allow you to save your video, upload it to cloud storage, and even upload it to YouTube. You can also convert your video if you'd like to right here. Once you've saved your video, uploaded it, or converted it, you can then send it to students using email, Google Classroom, or another service, and your students will be able to watch your instructional video at any time. Hopefully this video has given you some great ideas for how you can create video lessons for your students. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call. We're here to help.